In this tutorial, I'll show you how to manipulate the equilibrium constant to reflect changes in the chemical equation. Question 1 reads, consider the chemical equation and equilibrium constant for the synthesis of ammonia at 25 degrees Celsius. Notice that the constant is 3.7 times 10 to the power of 8. Now, we have to calculate the equilibrium constant for the following reaction, also at 25 degrees Celsius, and notice the differences between the two. This one has N2 and three molecules of H2 as the reactants, and over here they're the products. So there's a reversal essentially. In addition, we have a coefficient here of two, but there's no coefficient there. And similarly, the coefficients of the reactants here have changed for the products here. Given that this reaction has reversed, the way that's reflected on the equilibrium constant is you reciprocate it, where it becomes one over 3.7 times 10 to the power of 8. So that conversion reflects the reversal of the reaction. In addition, we have a coefficient of 1, 3, and 2. Over here, it's half, 3 over 2, and 1. So you have to ask yourself, how do you go from 2 to a coefficient of 1? Well, you divide everything here by half. So by dividing 2 by 2, I end up with 1. By dividing 3 by 2, I end up with 3 over 2. And dividing this by 2, I end up with half. Because we're dividing the original equation by half, the way that's reflected on k is you raise it to that factor. So in our case, it was half, so I'll raise it to a power of 1 over 2. What you see right here is k prime, which is the change in the equilibrium constant. Let's go ahead and calculate that. Using our calculator, bracket 1 over parentheses, the number 3.7 times 10 to the power of 8. Close those parentheses and close the outer brackets. And raise this to the power of 0 0.5. You should end up with, to two significant figures, 5.2 times 10 to the power of negative 5. 5.2 times 10 to the power of negative 5 is our new constant. That's the answer to question number one. Let's move on to question two. Consider the chemical equation and equilibrium constant at 25 degrees. This is our chemical equation, our constant, and we need K prime. Let's take a look at similarities and differences. Notice that this reaction and this one are reversed. Here we have a coefficient of two and over here of four. This means that to go from here to here, we are multiplying by two. Given that these two are the reverse, we'll also reciprocate this. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll take one over 2.2 .2 times 10 to the power of six, and we will raise this, this time, by a power of two. So using our calculator, one over 2.2 .2 times 10 raised to the power of six, close, close, now we raise this to the power of two. And we end up with 2.06 to two significant figures, 2.1 times 10 to the power of negative 13. This right here is K prime, and that's our new equilibrium constant. If you'd like to see the answer to question number three, make sure that you watch part two of this series where the solution is covered. We'll see you soon.